By popular demand, a new episode of the VCR! So our cartoon today is A Tale of Two Kitties by Robert Clampett from 1942. Our story starts off introducing us to our antagonists, and do I really need to say who they're a caricature of? Maybe it'd be a little bit more obvious if they did this. What's the guy's name on first? No, what's on second? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. He's on third. <sighs> Why don't you just show me the players? Okay, they're right there. So Babbitt and Hardy, I mean, Catsello, are trying to get the teeny tiny defenseless Boyd, who's none other than, in his first appearance, Tweety. So you might notice Tweety's a little different in this cartoon, and that he's pink, which means he has no feathers, which means he's naked. Well, the Hayes Code, you know, the committee that didn't want Betty Boop to do this, they didn't like this very much. At any rate, he was changed in further cartoons, making this one the Tracy I Love You of the Tweety cartoons. Well, I find this to be rather comfortable. I could do the whole review like this. <clears throat> yeah, I know. He's going to try to flag me, and I'm going to run, and we're going to have a chase scene, right? Nah. Well, there goes my comfort zone. Speaking of censorship, this film is also famous for this little bit of dialogue. Give me the bird! Give me the bird! If the Hayes office would only let me, I'd give him the point, all right? I'm actually shocked they got away with that. To be honest, the censors read into movies way too much. You mean I'll get it in the end? Yeah, and you'll get a big bang out of it, too. <laughs> oh, bring it in. Bring it in. Is it out? No. <laughs> Anyway, here's another bit of trivia for you. Although Tweety was unnamed in this cartoon, the original screenplay did list one for him. Guess what they called him? Orson. Sure, he looks and sounds just like an Orson. Rosebud. So anyway, Babbitt and Lewis, I mean Catsello, continue to try to get Tweety. Er, uh, Orson. Sensors get rid of that. Come on, stop your clowning. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Third base. So by the ending, we got our final attempt by Babbitt and Allen, or Catsello. Is anybody getting these references? Contact. 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 Joke seems a bit outdated nowadays, but there's a way to make it work. Hello, CTU, Counter Terrorist Unit. Get me Jack Bauer. <laughs> what were you doing up there? I was giving my friend the Boyd. Catstello was voiced by Mo Blanc, who does his normal great job, of course, but I really have to give props to writer Ted Pierce for doing a phenomenal Bud Abbott. The two would appear again, later as mice instead of cats. That's about as odd as recasting Bugs as a hunter, but whatever. Tweety moved on to stardom, becoming one of the studio's biggest stars when director Frizz Freeling casted him with Sylvester the Cat, and the duo won the studio their first Oscar. Tweety would also have his own Tiny Toons character spinoff, a little baby girl bird named Sweetie. And wouldn't you know it? She's pink! Yeah, that can't be a coincidence. All in all, this is a good cartoon, whether you're a fan of Tweety, whether you're a fan of Abbott and Costello, or whether you're just a fan of Looney Tunes. Check it out!